الحشاب It's the smell of cardamom that drew you, no? Or perhaps the sting of fresh pepper. Or maybe you seek something with a strong... Then you'd best ask elsewhere. But careful. If the Mataru oversee food, of course, I have plenty. The... Welcome back to the adventures of Bell Shelter in the EOS lands. And I think I will sell this one as it is broken. And some other things so that we don't really need. We are in Dalva's row, ready to do Silence another good, good number of quests, I think. This area I is pretty full of quests. There are also areas below. As you like. On fire and defiance bay. And I think we can open this. Not so loudly. But That's only unlock it to get some experience, but not open because as everybody will be Ernedza has not seen you before. You must be ah, but not how happy. did you hear about this play? There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me eh? but drown the if the price seems high. There is a certain merchant here. This mer if you get rid of it, Merle. When it dug its lair, it did. They say it does not do to have a mind reader nosing among us. Of course. Hmm. We did already something that <laughs> it's not not good because they have read. Right opinion. Maybe Come on. Opening that has not been a good idea. It's early. We'll go when it's dark. But we Fine. will try now. I don't know how you tell that, yeah? Get them happy with it. Ooh, I shall make it so. Another doggy. So basically, uh, the quest here is to kill the we track vendor here. Um, if you are not a, a, a mage, probably it, it is something you want to do because you get experience and reputation and uh, you are not really interested on in buying things from the Wittrak merchant. So probably something uh, Sharp eyes and key convenient to do. Uh, there are obviously uh, risky ways uh, you can attack it and 
or him As you like. and try to kill him and his gang or you can uh, ask an assassin which is in this level to, to kill uh, a wheat rock merchant for some money and uh, well probably if you're trying the ultimate it is safer to just ask uh, the assassin uh, to kill him uh, but we we want to try and see if we are able to do it the difficult thing is as usual uh, keeping villa alive because uh, it would be not so difficult to kill uh, with the usual tactic uh, the Vitrak and all the gang but having Villa is always something uh, for which you have to plan things uh, more with more attention so let's see what happens but first we want also to talk and see the, the version coming from on this we truck what is this what secrets does it bring let us see and you also so we let yes a watcher let him read our mind ah, a one this is a small mind with we truck are very cool they they want to know secret things What is your business? The what? What? As you see. Yeah. And a uh, curious thing is, is, I have no idea if shot. there is some this is where she way, some class, some special class that could be able to open more conversation about uh, uh, Ernesto, the, the merchant who is trying to, to kill the Wittrak. Uh, about him being uh, in reality a woman that th this kind of information that we are we getting want to see you be from the we truck but though the other seller women and seller men might think angry thoughts of you then a seller woman but the, the quest is not really telling you more about it she feel this but the we truck is recognizing we and that's like like a, like a it, woman you for some reason yes but this place was once part of the city so was its temple a site holy to the goddess of distant forgotten things and so we have this secret and can buy things. Very well, curious things here. Yeah, this easy for stone, the crashing speed and damage of attacker when hit. Could be maybe something special to use. Oh, and if you are a monk or if you are a mage, that this interesting grimoire. But some of these things we can get if we manage to kill the wheat truck. And I think we can it shall open to unlock me. things with without problems. I can get it to spill its secrets. As long as that we are not uh we are not seeing when we try to steal things. Anyway. Uh, we will need to kill the spindle man, so called spindle man. Uh, probably because it's a way, it's a way to, to get experience, especially because this unique creature, or uh, vandal, uh, has a lot of experience. Now here's something and you can get a lot of experience if you kill. Uh, to whispers and shadows. The spindle man, so, so. Uh, that's something uh, 
convenient to do you can pay the assassin to do it or you can try to do it yourself for an ultimate rank maybe maybe it is simpler to just pay it's the assassin there we are. but really something i can get it to spin it's done as oh, i think it's about oh and we got the another way to get medicine for the other quest uh i think it's about uh, 700 golds oh, you have to pay the assassin to kill the, everybody uh so you can just do that but we will try to see if you, if you are able to do that uh not sure from a certain point of view it could be better to do it when we come back let me check we could also level up but i wanted to respect before leveling up before because probably at this point we want to get uh, most of the stealth we can have more than uh, mechanics so let's try it looking for something to sharpen the senses so we respect we train and basically we we try to improve our stuff uh, the most and then we use our diplomacy and maybe You want to see me trying to kill him, the spinner man? Ah, uh, it's not something you see a lot because people playing the ultimate usually just uh, pay the assassin. It, it is much simpler, less risky. And let me check here. So, stealth. For now, stealth. And diplomacy, we can 12 point is good enough. Mm, let me see. We may want well, at this point, I think I will get also whisper or treason because it is always something useful. And the uh, stuff metaphysic. We got our beloved summons. I love the wounds, and we got our uh, sick of vampiric shield. This one may seem not so useful, but uh, it has a lot of good things. You get steadfast that at low level is something useful. I point on our resolve. It is lowering resolve of the targeted enemy, and this is very important because this way uh, it is much easier to target uh, with other spell uh, targeting will, for instance. Uh, the bar with instinct it is much easier to, to land it and this is a very important spell and also it is lowering deflection uh, to the enemy so even your summons are going to have uh, a better better uh, accuracy with, with that enemy so a good spell always good to have then we choose our second uh, weapon we choose uh, if possible we choose 100 weapons because you can uh, get more than one and you get 
if you have just one you have more accuracy but we choose weapon mostly for the modal effect because these modal effects are able to lower one of the enemy statistics and when you are playing with high level enemies it is always important to be able to lower their defenses and uh, stealth again as you can see we start having good values for stuff this way 12 9 and then we can choose this one more stuff And all in all, I think I will choose Arms Bureau now because uh, well, maybe not, maybe not. I will choose this one. And the stealth again okay so now we need to choose uh, two abilities so for our chanto we got this one our pain link or the summons Stealth and uh, metaphysic, and as we are here, hmm, well, this one okay. So, talking also with people on the forum, uh, on the game forum, uh, uh different opinion, uh. Some people would prefer to use uh, Rainy Direct Invocation to get fast frightened and then especially uh, you can get uh, 10 points removed from your uh, enemy's defenses in a, in a cone area and frightened. And this is very good but it is sort of uh, requiring two uh, level two slots while this one is requiring only one and it's giving frightened like the other one and also sickened which is another good thing uh, lowering enemies constitution and healing recite recite healing and also I think it is easier to land because it's a bigger area and you can target the exact area you want to, to hit uh, better. So these two spells are very similar and equivalent but this is true for a lot of spells and abilities between the chanter and the cipher. So you can choose uh, with different preferences and they have more or less the same fun functionality for instance I like also to cover uh, paralyze paralyzing the enemy not with this chanter ability but with this, this uh, cipher ability but I could do also the re reverse it's a matter of test I prefer this way because uh, science spell are are faster to cast uh, with my way to play the chanter because I prefer to have the summons always up so a good part of the chanter resources got there first and when I have a spare uh, spare resource uh, 
halfway of the duration of the summon life I maybe use another chant spell or a couple of them if I have enough intelligence and so on but my main priority with the chanter is to keep the summon up because in my playstyle they are very important and so I prefer to give more spells more control and especially damaging, damage, damaging spells to, to the scion part but more or less uh, there are spells also for the chanter to target the same defense the, the same effect so it's very open to your prefer how you prefer to play it and for instance I prefer instead this one uh, the mental binding one at least until we manage to get one super powerful weapon which is able also to paralyze uh, but for now this is good and the other effect which is instead the stun effect for controlling the enemy that one I prefer to get from the chanter and so I from the start I choose the tunnel roll which is a very nice uh, area of effect stunning pushing the enemy away and giving good damage uh, crash damage which is the uh, physical damage uh, less resisted by enemies and also it is targeting re reflex uh, which is the statistic usually easier to, to target so that's more or less the reason but uh, it's a very versatile combination of classes because uh, you can choose uh, also different combination anyway uh, secret auras this one could be good when we are still on level but all in all I prefer for instance uh, uh, this one hammering folds but we will see uh, now we choose another a model the morning star with body blows uh, body blows is a lowering uh, enemy fortitude which is another uh, important thing to lower because a lot of enemies ha have very high fortitude and lowering that helps a lot okay 70 not bad uh, more metaphysic okay at this point I choose uh, this one maybe let me let me check so we have already this one okay let, let's take this uh, this is also a, a great chant of spell because uh, this uh, invocation is attacking on a cone but if you target a single enemy nothing get uh, lost because all the rays of this invocation are able to target also a single target so this spell increase the will hit the enemy a lot of times and do always great damage uh, against multiple enemies and also against a single enemy so always good and this spell also is great to use with the uh, special items like the uh, last least unstable coil which you can get uh, well not very soon but when you are able to get it this can trigger it uh, multiple times and you get very good very good uh, magic effect from that so also good for the, that thing but 
it is always a good spell because good damage, uh, electric damage, and also it scales very well. So it, it is always good, even at high level. And then more stuff. Okay, now, ha, huh, not easy here. We have plenty of good things we could choose. For instance, uh, the these summons are very good when uh, you have enemy which which are not uh, damaged by fire. So, there are situation. Where, where you may want them instead of the wounds. Uh, this upgrade for the wounds is good because they uh, have more damage and also damage. Some of the damage is, uh, how can I say it, is uh, coming from uh, I don't remember the correct word for it, but uh, it doesn't hit once, it hits more, uh, with a very slow damage, but it continues hitting the enemy, so uh, it's good, but problem is that he's using uh, one more, one more level of, one more phrase, and this can be not so good, especially at the start. So, this one, from this point of view, is much better because it doesn't increase the number of phrases needed and it is adding to our very good spell already 15 points of accuracy and this makes it always hit and so you can always disable uh, nearly always disable your enemies uh, if they are not uh, resistance against stunning you you can hit with with it very reliably and so something good to get and then we choose something for the cipher. This level of the cipher is not super good. There are good spells, but none of them is essential. Uh, this would be normally with a party a very good spell to have because you can give uh, robbers to your companions. But in our case, we don't have companions. We have summons, and summons, it doesn't make sense to uh, make a summon robust because the summons will always have a limited duration and it is less costly just to cast uh, the summon again, the summon spells again. So, not very good. This one is stunning and we already have a very good area stunning so for some uh, raw damage yes not bad but not essential so all in all better to use this slot for something else and this something else could be uh, arm spirit always good to have a way to uh, increase your weapon and shield slots could be monastic and arm training because this will be essential with enemy so tough that you have serious difficulties uh, hitting them without a level up weapon and instead of a level up weapon you can use this martial ability which is giving you increased accuracy and penetration uh, when when you need them most but 
At the moment we don't need really to be able to use this kind of ability. Our spells should be enough. So next thing maybe could be this. Hammering folds. One point of penetration with any weapon. And this could be a little better because it's true that we will use most spells, but uh, in a short time we should be able to get one really great weapon that we can use uh, with this with this improvement. So uh, it's an alpha shot weapon where you can use a, a one of the weapon abilities to do a great starting damage in a big area and this could be really useful for that or we could choose uh, other things so this is a great spell if you are summons a beam of uh, crush damage uh, doing a lot of damage uh, problem is the duration is not scaling with uh, I think it's not scaling with uh, your intelligence and this is a pity not sure about it honestly I don't remember I know that I don't use it very much because it doesn't scale so good so well uh, this one could be good puppet master you can dominate the enemies from far far away compared to whisper of three zone but we don't have a lot of focus yet, so maybe in the future we will use it to replace this one. But for now, there are probably better, better things. So, what could we choose? Uh, plenty of things. Uh, but we could get this. We could get this. Oh, also this one is good, very good for a second level spell. If you have some enemy which is uh, not a resistant to uh, pierce, this spell does a lot of damage. And also is it, it is very good to uh, free yourself from uh, engagement because it is pushing away also the, the enemy. Mm, we have a different way to, to do that just using the telekinetic burst from the Psyon. So it depends on what enemy you plan to, to fight. So all in all this would be good but we have already our summons doing fire damage so i think all in all all in all we could try this one this one is blinded which is a pretty pretty good uh, spell against perception And until we have something better, could be could be something to have. Uh, yeah, let's choose this one. But there are many things. Oh, I, I, I'm not really sure. And there are too many f good things. I will get this one. But there are, there are too many spots. Uh, okay, 90, 19, and 12. Okay, now we have another possibility here. Uh, this one is also great. But because it is completely removing concentration from
from enemy in an area automatically without you having to do anything. Problem is, you don't really use this if you don't have a way to uh, interrupt the enemy. And for now we don't have much for this. We would need something like... Uh, Uh, where, where is it? This one giving us energized so attacks interrupt on crit uh, but there are ways to get that if you use the strand or follow uh, cheese and so if you have that it makes sense also to get this one it's great if you have a way to interrupt the enemy but if you don't have it probably not so important and this one this one is always good because it's giving a stream a little stream of health to yourself and especially for Villa if she is nearby and it may be very important in certain situations where you don't have the time to heal Villa and Villa is hit by something. So this can help. Uh, all in all, I think I will get this one. For things we need to do uh, at this point, probably having these summons is a good way to use a different kind of damage. With, with different enemies. And now, the difficult part, <laughs> killing, killing those two, two, three, four uh, enemies. And Show the tough the one teams. and the dangerous one is the wheat rack because has attacks that are paralyzing I think or stunning I don't remember exactly but those attacks are really dangerous because if you are hit uh, by one of them it would be a problem so we should try to use a trap and use the salmon as usual to prepare oh and we have also this one it could be what trying to uh, spend some money here because this is uh, giving us less recovery each time we hit this weapon so if we uh, are okay with the idea uh, to use some cheese uh, using our strand of our like item here to increase the duration of a beneficial effects uh, swapping this cuirass we can get uh, a good use from this because uh, we can hit Villa, for instance, and then increase that good effect. So, uh, but first, better to do one thing that every time you respect, you should do. 
as you can forget it and if you forget it <laughs> then the next battle uh, you will not you will have your chanter spell uh, running only once because you are not chanting so they do not recharge and so you are almost dead so very important each time you respect a chanter build remember to prepare your chance anyway we want to hit Vila oh, indeed. so this way we can increase the duration of the weapon effect which is giving us at the moment 5% less recovery time for everything for 43 seconds this is not as good we will never be as good as the Scordia uh, weapon uh, blade weapon Scordia's edge effect be because that one is making your recovery zero so this will never reach zero but it is still a great effect to have so we have the pistol we use it and as usual uh, the great thing about the ultimate and, and learning these tricks uh, I, I think it is you uh, find a way of using this item that may seem like something not so useful and discover a new, new way to use a lot of, of strange items in different ways okay and also they transform something that is uh, something absurdly uh, uh, bad like Vila in something that you can actually use uh, so the, it, it becomes a sort of asset you use L to Very well. get some powerful uh, effects so it's a way to bend the game difficulty to be some kind of advantage ah but she is not dying for that <laughs> she is uh, healing very fast when you are not in combat but it's also a little you get some little satisfaction or about hitting her because she's really really giving you a lot of problems usually so this way you you can hit her but she doesn't really die for that she is healing very fast but you use her as a target and yes you can get some satisfaction from that because she is really really annoying anyway our bonus here is already 10% and we can go on like this uh, for a while and then we can start increasing the duration of this the usual way there are two ways you can do it uh, you can get one thing and swap it from here every time I swap that cuirass I get 10% more duration uh, for instance now oh, we have very nice nearly 100 seconds and so on uh, if you play the ultimate this is the way to do it you get another equivalent item and swap things by hand and count how many swaps you do when you have about uh, 160 180 better better to do 200 you are sure that your duration is already top for for the time you need to beat the ultimate uh, as we are not uh, doing a real ultimate we don't have to uh, post our final run 
and um, submit to the game developers uh, we can just accelerate the thing and do it this way from here we can just double click fast and you, you can do it faster but this way you cannot really count how many times you do so if you have a mouse uh, with some macro you can just simply uh, use the proper button mouse button and do it automatically and let me check if I fi find the right button this way and so uh, you, you don't destroy your mouse and then you can do it uh, pretty fast so when you reach about 8 million seconds uh, it means that it's uh, almost infinite time so should be not a problem but just as an example you can see that we are already uh, with thousands of seconds so you can do that with this weapon basically you hit Vila wait for her to be uh, super healthy again and then you can hit oh, them indeed. a second time she's hot she's healthy she's hot she's healthy as you can see she's very fast healing super fast when out of combat so now we have 21 percent less recovery time and so on i think the limit is 10 stacks uh not sure about it oh and when you do the ultimate all these numbers are hidden so it's much more difficult but you get the idea and so important thing is to wait when villa is uh hot blooded it's better to wait because you risk to kill her this way she is healing super fast and you just wait and then you can do it again okay we stop check i think this is the last one Let's see. Very well. I will hit a couple times and then check. Okay, but I think we will stop at ten. Yeah, nine. Hmm. Not even ten. Strange. Let's try again. Oh, indeed. <laughs> hmm, it is decreasing. Strange. Let's try prolonging. That will do nicely. Very Eight well. stacks. Ugh. Perfect. Okay, we are 10 stacks. I think this is the top you can get. Let's see. Yes. Oh, we can get more. Very good.
very nice. Notice that I'm using a shield here to slow my speed with the pistol so this way I can hit uh, uh, a little slower uh, to not risk too much to kill her. So this is also a another little thing that makes this thing easier. And we have already at 41 less recovery time, which is not bad at all. But we can do more probably. We can do better. Oh, indeed. Always. Keep the castle of a villa and check her health when she's blooded. Stop, because you risk killing her. And then, every now and then, take a look at your recovery. Gain, um, and then you can do a little swapping. usually from here or from the other slot but this way uh, is only if you don't do the real ultimate because I have a feeling that this using this macro mouse could be considered so like something not really uh, Uh, how can I say it? Included in the game, but like using an external tool, so probably not something that is not accepted uh, by the rules of the of the ultimate challenge. Anyway, we can do it because we are we are doing a test build just to see if things are possible. That will do nicely. And we are 44. Uh, honestly, I don't know how much you can you can get. Always, always more than zero. That's for sure. But zero recovery this way is not something possible. But you can get a good speed on that for sure. Okay, I think that's enough. Uh, well, I want to try and see if a 20 is the limit, but we have already 50% less recovery time, which is very good. It is like having frenzy <laughs> always up, I think. Uh, okay, let's try a couple. Very well. Of hits, she's blooded. We need to pay attention. Can't do it. Uh, but my curiosity is to see if there is a limit of the number of 
kids you can stack. I think it's 20 at this point. Oh, uh, but that will do nicely. I want to discover if it is limited or not. Yes. I'm learning a lot. Oh, near death. <laughs> we are becoming really too strong for that. Anyway, okay, there is no limit, it seems. As you can see, we are at 22. So, in theory, we, we could get even better, better, uh, better speed for our recovery, probably. Uh, but we would damage our pistol. Uh, so I think I will stop for now because more than enough uh, to be to be something useful. And you get the idea. In theory, you can go on and decrease this uh, recovery time. Uh, you will never get zero like with Scordio's Edge, and that's the reason why that will happen for this kind of. Oh, cheese is the best one because uh, nothing else can get you zero recovery like that but this one which is very easy to get this pistol is also very useful so better to use it if you're trying the ultimate because the ultimate is something uh, so difficult that Every cheese is is good, and okay. Let's put this here. Oh, we could also use a battle shield. We have one. Uh, there are other weapons. Uh, we could have such interesting effects. Other armors. We already know. Uh, where is it? This one. This one has darkest before dawn, <clears throat> which which is giving back uh, a good quantity of health, and it is giving you. Uh, 25% less damage for a short time when you're near death, near death, but you can prolong this. So this is super useful to survive uh, <clears throat> when you are near death, uh, but you have to sleep at least once because by default the this uh, stone uh, no sorry this one the the charm is not charged so you have to sleep once and we don't want to do it for now and so on. Uh, we can look for uh, nice uh, items when you find when you find something you always ask yourself could this thing be useful if I try to use it? Uh, not the standard way and for instance this one is another one when you have to choose how to enchant this you can choose this and this is something you can prolong basically you must look for effect that have a time duration in seconds and uh, are not fight only effects this way usually you can prolong them and many of them are useful this one is another healing effect you can get from this uh, cuirass and then prolong it but for now we don't do that <clears throat> Not sure, uh, maybe... 
Okay, let's use this. We have our scroll of withdraw for emergency if we need to save Villa. This more intellect. We could try and use uh, fireballs. We could get this one to try and protect us from from spells. And then, okay, first oh, thing. Very nice. If we, we want to attack. To whispers and shadows. We must consider that these are not enemies yet. So we can't really put a trap because they will not uh, go over the trap probably. Let's try it, see what happens. We put a trap. And they don't give a damn because they are not enemies, so they are not interested in our trap. So things seems to be uh, seem to be more difficult than usual. Uh, we could try to uh, lure them over the trap with some spark crackers. But in this case, the easier thing too. to do is to use a boom. And that is what we will try to do. Maybe we still use a trap as a way to uh, protect us from the enemy running, trying to get us, maybe. Like this. But we want to use a boom. Uh, we have one already here. So, we can prepare, we have booms, we have scrolls. Okay, the plan is we try to, uh, like stealing from, the en from what is not yet an enemy and put a bomb uh, in the pockets of the of this uh, not yet enemy and then we sneak away this way when the boom explodes and they become uh, aggressive we are far away and we should be able to start summoning on a safe position this is the plan this is the way you can manage to uh, get even super difficult bounties like the Torkawa uh, using a boom to start the fight. Let's see if we are actually able to do something like that. So the trick here is the shift click uh, to, to go far from, from the risky point. So we try to steal. If we manage to uh, start in the steal uh, before reaching our target we must shift click in the, our second destination which will be a safe point far away uh, it takes a little practice but it's super useful let's try this so I, I will click here or shift click which is the same but the important thing is before reaching the target i must be able to shift click away let's try it mm -hmm indeed like this and i wait to be far then i prepare my booms when i am away and i'm well hidden i place the boom 
Oh, no, wait. From a safe position. <laughs> and then we can start our... Uh, I've not been able to keep on uh, my stealth, but I'm safe for now because I'm away. Now I have the time to start my power surge amulet getting a one point a pr one precious point of uh, power surge power level and we start summoning uh, always from afar because uh, it's too risky as uh, at this point because Villa is easy to kill but you get the idea this way if you have uh, a good space to move uh, it's pretty easy and we use our spells to give our summons uh, a sort of automatic repost when they are attacked by the enemy. Yes, certainly. Vila, come here, Vila. Don't be silly. As you can see, every time uh, the enemy is hitting, uh, if the spell, uh, the pain link is up, the enemy gets some damage. And this is a way you can spare using the precious scroll or withdraw and we sell them only for those fight where you cannot safely hide Vila. And there are a lot of this kind of fights uh, on the ultimate. So, <laughs> it's not so easy as it seems. You you need some some of those calls. Yes. But for I'm now, sure. we should be able. Oh, and also domination here oh. from the wheat truck. Oh. Uh, I could try also uh, the orcs, but all in all, I think the the rooms are better because they are free. So. Even if one is dominated, they are still good. Certainly. Okay, one is down, probably.
تم تغسيل رأيك وقيمته الناسية So, one is dominated uh, every time because the wheat track is smart. So, all in all, the wolves are better here. Maybe to hit this one. Oh, it's vampiric. No, not easy to kill. Let's try the ogres.
I need to yes. take a little risk, uh, probably. Because things are a little slow. Indeed. Got to try something else. I shall. Meeting the cedar eggs, talking to the sea. Certainly. Well, that's not it. Meet him the cedar eggs, cock him in the sea. Meet him the cedar eggs, cock him in the sea. Oh. 
The orcs are yes. good. This kind of enemy. Yes, indeed. And that's it. Uh, maybe I could have tried As to you like. kill them uh, with Cypher spells a little sooner, but I tend to keep Villa safe because that's very important. Anyway, I can't wait we to have a key, we have things, but mostly uh, we want to loot from I shall make it so. the various chests. Uh, this thing is pretty good, giving some enervating terror and vibrancy visage could be a nice job. helmet to use a I couple times but this is very powerful as a figurine giving you three shades uh, so also good loot oh i shall yes. nothing super super useful for our build but still good to have <clears throat> silence surrounds me i shall make it so but honestly if you want to try the, the ultimate you can just buy the assassin and the assassin will kill them with no risk there is something i can get for you yes perfecto i heard certain rumors of course i did not want to your medicine as promised of course only do not and then we can buy some cinder booms always good we can buy some spark crackers always good and i think for now we can sell other things We will not really use use this a lot because uh, you have to to sleep to recharge it. But anyway, trade. Uh, let me see. Can we steal something more? Mm, not easy. Uh, that's one good thing you can buy here. You cannot steal it. You but need a old money. This thing could be useful. Uh, it is especially useful for mage builds, but can also useful for other builds. But for now, yes, certainly. Uh, 
probably better to keep the money. So this way you have the assassin. In theory you can try to kill the assassin to get his super nice blade. But it's not easy. And we don't really need it. So I want to show you one thing. One of the reasons why we killed the spindle man is to get some uh, experience. And exactly... Here it is. Experience from getting uh, this information. I think. Uh, I don't remember how much, but it's a good quantity of information. Uh, sorry, of uh, experience. Go on. And then takes you to the craft. We try to go on with the quest from uh, how is he called? Whispers and shadows. The Rio de Lin. We got the quest uh, from the Gallet. And this is where having high stealth can help. We can creep closer, observe what happens here. And we got some information from another quest from the Prince Aruhihi. We can sneak around or talk with the brawler. As you like. Probably faster and better to sneak. We can also get some loot. Oh, and we can also use this thing to cross the river if you, if you have enough skill points. I shall make it so. It shall open. Get some finish. experience, but not open this. surrounds me. I shall make it so. As you like.
mission make it so. And these water shapers have some good loot you can steal, but nothing really changing the game. The real loot is uh, with the lady pirate here. Did not manage. What have we here? And do where I see it, you've got two options. So we have a couple missions for her. We have been uh, introduced by Inoi and also uh, by Duvia, and what we for? can do. I've already got so annoyed all of them, you had all nothing of them to do with it. I guess that's the Ulu, everyone in the and though it pains me to say it. And I've merely Is to this trust wrong? you. Say I happen. Loot me now if you're a put them Bailey. Otherwise, now if that doesn't tickle me. Oh. Thirty thousand copper ought to cover it. And we get the luminous arrow because we already stolen it. Well, we get I invite you to end our uh, the commander of my fleet, and we get a nice weapon here. A deals a will catch us the Rupara, and more experience. And we can now hear something. Steal Sharp as usual. I can get it to spill its secrets. Oh, we don't have enough mechanics. <laughs> Let's see if these are enough. That will do nicely. Not sure about it. It shall open to me. There we are. Yeah. As you like. Make it so. Can we go this way? Yeah. Okay, so this is done, we got another level, and we are ready for some more difficult part of the quest that you can get here, the one for Let's get this over with. the real the limb. And Vela is still it's darker than Andra's asshole in here. Alive and well. All yours. Dario said you know what to do. Yeah. I shall the make it conch so. and we can use it on the statue. Stand 
stand back. Get ready for anything. Where's the rest? Is that it? There's an old temple of Andra. Just what I was. The one we. I'll wait here. Come. Not much, apparently. I'm a bruiser. You know, the Juana. You can take whatever you can carry out of the temple. Okay, let's take a look at our buff. As you can see, it's still pretty high. Basically, uh, we are we are already a lot of millions uh, of seconds recovery time, so no problem. We could shadows. reach infinity, but. Uh, not needed. The one thing we need is now staff. So let's equip our mantle here. Uh, for now, should be enough. Oh, very nice. And that's plenty of nasty enemies, so as you like. better to pay attention. And these enemies have poison. So if we decide to do battle, better to be prepared with some of these potions and I think this slot could be good for some other weapons like uh, this one with this model also better to remove this and we are ready for our Indeed. staff mission oh this is invisible so what we will try to do is uh, reach the other part of the ruins uh, we can do this trying to go up here or trying to take a gallery this way it is easier this way and probably it is better to come back this way but it it is a matter of test taste if you have good stuff, should be something possible. But better to wait when enemies are not there. So we could use uh, we could use this to put out some of those that will do nicely. Grab barrows. You must pay attention though because uh, it is easy get enemies come running here like this so better to be oh they are invisible uh, a galloway challenge effect not the worst 
So, all in all, not bad. Okay. So, let's grab from there. She'll make it so. So I prefer to, to go this way at the start. We could kill also these enemies, but they are not really As super like. tough not to all it is not a real challenge it is just a way to use some time with no real no real advantage so instead we got this way And this could be more risky uh, because these crabs are super dangerous for Villa, especially. So you can use their stuff, but I like, if possible, to destroy those grab mounds. And for this we use uh, fireballs and this ring, which is giving us 10 more accuracy with fire attacks. So we try to destroy this thing. Oh, off her. without having to wake up the grubs. Must be fast. Grubs everywhere. This is not really necessary, but... I should make it so. This way, if by chance the grub will uh, attack, they are not always coming from the, the mounds. Okay, so uh, this is where a bit of challenge is. Basically, from this pool we can get another conch. This is not necessary to do the, uh, the killing needed from the ultimate challenge, which is killing the super big grab boss here. But getting that conch makes you able to open a secret door and get 
some really good loot so it is good to be able to do it problem is this country is defended by super nasty undeads and the only way to uh, get away from there without having villa killed probably is to be able to stealth away and it needs high stuff to do it safely and you have to do it fast also second problem is uh, going deep into that pool uh, is uh, getting you some, an injury uh, which is not really good but it is what because uh, those things you can get from getting that conch are pretty useful so well now we can try opening this maybe yeah that's right i can get it to spill its secrets i think this one it shall open to me it's done better to get the experience but it has a nasty trap, I think, so uh, not worth risking. Also, you can get here, in here, you get another quest. Uh, but not easy. Takes time and so on. So, for now, I will just limit destroying this thing. you like and this is something that we could destroy with those uh, fireball for instance and there are enemies here and a quest if you go all the way there but not worth probably so let's try to do uh, uh, the difficult thing but the the worst one getting that conch from uh, from the pool and well not easy oh very nice okay so maximum stuff be sure to have all possible things giving you stuff so we have uh, 90 should be should be something easy i think from 18 uh, it should be easy enough but position is very important uh, you must be more or less in line with the center of the pool and when you get uh, the conch you have to sneak away as fast as possible uh, in a straight line at this point as you can be uh, reached by the enemy and then you're almost dead and your ultimate is uh, is done I have said because I don't want to repeat everything uh, but you get the idea it is good to try this during the ultimate because it is worth the risk but pay attention yes. so let's try it I shall. Go to the center, more or less. Go I here. We will get an injury. Nothing. Uh, we could try to increase our skills more, but not worth. Dive to all the light. Continue. Take the conch and swim back up. This is where things are difficult. Fast, very fast this way. Okay.
So we got the conch. We got our an injury. Not good. But we can find a way to fix that. What have we here? As you like. And maybe we could use a pet able to protect us from these bad effects maybe this one and also more perception do nicely I shall make it so ah already sick enough okay let me check the map uh, we could try Survive and kill some years. enemy but we have villa and villa is always a problem uh, there are some speeds hidden here we could kill them but one of them could teleport try to kill Villa and not work so for now we try to go to the next level so this way you cannot go anyway uh, anywhere so now we pay attention there are enemies here but we can manage to run away before they see us we inspect the path climb down the steps we have high perception no problem and we shimmy across the ledge down to the pit below And here is the other level where lots of things are hidden. As you like. And interesting to discover. Lots of dangers also. But if you stay at the center of these stairs, usually the enemies that are here and these elementals should not get you. Uh, an interesting thing here is these elementals are pretty powerful, but like with the first battle we got in the uh, excavation site does a special uh, elevated point where we can uh, start our attacks that is very uh, now here's something a very advantage point so we can use our spell our summons from a safe place and enemies should not be very uh, dangerous from there so we can manage to kill all of these blights easily uh, it is worth in my opinion because you get a lot of ingredients uh, good ingredients you get some experience so I usually try to do this yes 
Uh, we could try to heal this. Oh, at least to get one more level. Yes, let's do it. Uh, so, more stealth. Physics, streetwise, policy, inside. And now. Let's get hammering votes. And as a weapon, there are a lot of weapons useful. We could get this one when we we get nice saber. Saber, but this one too is very good because uh, it has this model, of, uh, which is a decreasing enemy. Uh, deflection, so it's pretty good to have. Okay, let's try this. Uh, we can start the fight and see what happens, no problem. Uh, plenty of enemies here. Uh, let's see. I think I will start with this one. And then, before any enemy can get some strange idea about coming to our direction, we try to distract them with the summons. And obviously, we do not try to hit the fire, uh, lights with the fire, but we use our summons as easy target and pain link. As you can see, each time one of them is hit, damaging our summons. They are also getting some damage. And we wait uh, while we recharge our focus. We can use our electricity area spell, which is always great and cheap. Well, 
Let's try the Ogres. I'm not trying to hit this one, I'm mostly trying to hit uh, this.
seed of it. Got to try something else. Meet of the seed of eggs, talking to me And this enemy has a nice thing <laughs> in that it, it often sort of certainly uh, remains blocked. For some reason, when you are playing at low speed, there are some kind of glitch. Uh, the good thing is that this is pretty powerful, but not so smart. Is he's in a position where Villa could cause problems? Yes. Well, yes. Now uh, he's going to explode. So not sure. Indeed. What to do here? I should try to move. Yes. This enemy. Uh, using this. But not, not easy to do. Uh, that's the problem. Villa is always that problem. I don't want to use a scroll for her. Oh, indeed. But I fear not to try something else. It could be something I need to do. Let's yes. see. Certainly. Let's see if we manage to be followed by this enemy. Because the problem is that. Oh, we can do it. Vila, come on! No, 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 Vila, don't do these things. I hate you. Oh, she survived. But as you can see, Vila is always, always Indeed. a problem. Yes. Because I have not been fast enough to protect her with the score and I have risked a lot here because this enemy when near death is going to explode and she has been hit hard. But luckily uh, mm -hmm. as you level up she also level up and gets more and more health. So yes, I shall make it this soon. time we have been lucky. But don't do like that. Don't risk Yes. Use a scroll. One of these scrolls. When you see that one of those kind of enemies is going to explode, because if you are unlucky, she could die. Mm -hmm. Okay. We did the big Asha, battle. Silence surrounds me. We got some nice loot, probably. As you like. We will see. She'll make it so. Hmm, 
Not bad. Plantial elemental things. Good to upgrade weapons and armors. So let's take a look at the map. Just here. As you like. I shall make it so. What have we here? Hmm. Massive bars. Ooh. before the enemy start following us oh nobody's following us better so we got some nose great figurine and a nice oh, and we look for our real target which is this statue well we can use our conch and open the secret door and here is the first mega boss of the ultimate challenge this grub giant grub uh, we are level let me check level 12 we could be able to kill it uh, is it worth doing it now not really if you're doing the ultimate challenge because it's much easier if you come back here uh, at a at a higher level but as we have the two conch and we are already able to open this door and get the good loot here if we manage to kill it now we can spare uh, coming back here uh, a second time so from a certain point of view, it should be better to wait to be level 40 or 15, 14, 15, but uh, being able to do it now should spare yes, us indeed. some time, maybe. Uh, this monster luckily has a... Uh, something we can use uh, at our advantage it is very sensitive to uh, charm spell so basically if we use this spell it is like uh, using a spell of a higher level so if you use charm you get the enemy uh, how is it called dominated instead so pretty good to be a c4 you? for this enemy uh, but it is a mega boss so oh. we must pay oh. attention okay so let's see if we can manage to do that so protection and Hmm. 
This is good, but the fireball are good too. Not sure. Uh, we need the perception. Uh, these are always good. The problem, as usual, is keep Villa far from the danger. And we could use I don't want to uh, damage this armor, so I will use this. We need traps. Maybe not. Uh, we could try using a trap, but it's not really moving, so. Mm not easy probably here the the best strategy is to try to keep Vila uh, more or less in this position let me check how how yes, the situation certainly. is okay first we do the quest then we will see how we manage the rest. Uh, we can destroy those things on stealth. Oh, very nice. Pay attention because there are grabs there. So here the target is to As you like this and get the quest done. So we are already able to get the, our uh, gift from the quest giver. But our target is to enter here and kill this thing. So we could use stealth, get one medallion from here, but okay. I will try this tactic. I will try to block Villa for a short time and just uh, getting the enemy to see us, see what happens. I think all in all this is the, the easier way because you cannot interact with with the, the monster until the monster is able to see you. So it's not easy. Uh, let's see. But we need probably a scroll here. And I hope you are able to, to make one. Uh, so... Of 
Okay, Scarlet Binning Web. This should be good. So this will give us some seconds before Villa is able to follow. And we equip it. Yeah. Prepare for the battle. Check things again. We use this. Of this. But also this is good. Okay. Ready for that? Maybe some ranged weapon. Okay, let's see. And uh, maybe a trap, like some kind of uh, security. I think we are ready. I will place a trap here. So if enemy comes running and then we try <laughs> using the scroll with Villa. Yes, indeed. So as you can see this thing hits hard, very hard. But now in theory we are in a safe position. And and I a nice tactic now is to try to get Hila uh, terrified in a safe position when she's not immo immobili immobilized. Because this way uh, in theory, we are safe to move. It's not easy, but. Sometimes it works. Okay, and uh, the enemy here should be able to uh, mm, I shall engage. So this is a good thing for us because we have 
pain link. So every damage we receive and in case of disengagement damage is big uh, we can give some damage back Not in vain. come on Certainly. Bila be terrified so we can yes. move <laughs> uh, run Let's see. Another tactic. Try to call these grubs in this area. So this way they are near Villa. Villa get terrified, but she's still protected by the wall. This is what I will try to do now. Uh, not easy, but. <laughs> Let's try it. So the grabs sh should come here. Trying to kill the summons. Indeed. Oh, not bad. Vengeful. Vengeful is not uh, not bad. Come on, Villa. You always become terrified when you don't have to. And now that I need you to be terrified, you don't. Villa, silly girl. Oh, finally. Okay, so now we are safer because Villa will not move from here anymore. Oh. So we can uh, risk a little more. Finally. Yes. Me to the seed of 
fucking team this season. Meeting the Seeder eggs, cock hinting their smith, yes? Meeting the Seeder eggs, cock hinting their smith. This thing is really annoying. Hmm? I shall. Not easy. Meet on the Sira X and cock him in the season. Yes.
Yes. Not good. Not easy to do any damage with it. Oh, indeed. Yes. Me to the Sira X Cochin Tin Yes. Me to Yes. 
long battle because he's he has moved a little and so I don't want to risk much but in theory uh, with pain link and the summons you should be able to damage this thing anyway Yes. 
Yes. Meet him thus, Cedar Ace. Cock and Tim Wilson. Indeed. Meet him thus, Cedar Ace. Cock and Tim Wilson. Certainly.
items are seed or eggs or cock in teammates. Indeed. Mutants are seed or eggs, clock containers, nurses. Well, that's not it. Meet him, the seed of eggs, a cock in tenders, yes. Yes? Yes? Easy. Meet him, the seed of eggs, a cock in tenders. Yes? Oh, certainly. Indeed. Very well. We've got to try something else. Meet him, the seed of eggs, a cock in tenders. Yes. I shall. Meet him, the seed of eggs, a cock in tenders. Yes. Meet 
Item now, see the X, clock him to him, they see. Yes? Item now, see the X, clock him to him, they see. Problem is these things. Uh, I think our resistance to electricity, which is our usual way to do damage. So in this case, probably monastic an arm could work better. Because we can easily uh, dominate it, but we have hard oh, problems with making damage. I can try electricity, but I'm sure it doesn't work. So, pain link. The thing is near that, uh, it should oh. not take a lot of time. As you can see, we do 27 damage each time uh, it is hitting my, my summon. Mm -hmm. So even enemies you can really uh, damage because they are too high level, too much armor and so on. With this spell, you can slowly kill them. With this spell and summon you can control because when you disengage they hit hard and then they get back this kind of damage which is not bad 27 points always hit And now we have a problem because there are these nasty things. Certainly. And Villa is already bloody. This is a big problem.
Yes. Me to see the eggs cocking in the Yes. Me to see the eggs cocking in the Ba 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 ba. This thing is hard to deal for the for the ogres. Finally. Indeed. Me to the seed of eggs, cock him in the seed. Mm -hmm. 
I shall. Very well. Team Nessies. long battle probably I should have used the fireballs or the monastic yes. um, training I shall make it so but indeed with a little time you kill almost anything sharp eyes and keen ears there should be something hidden here here's something yeah. as you like So this is the first uh, mega monster, so-called monster of the... Not really a mega one, because this is from the standard game, but it's upscaled, so a little harder. here but anyway not bad uh, we have managed some way to avoid being killed even once that will do nicely I can get it to spill its secrets it's beyond me I shall make it so there we are good loot here it shall open to me finished this thing especially well, hey, Praga. It's a nice weapon. Um, a poleaxe. Not something super useful for our build, but it has a great feature, which is. Uh, where it is? At blade, reach. When you launch attack, you get uh, less 20% uh, melee damage received. And that's good. And I'm not sure this can work if prolonged. Probably not. Uh, not sure. We, we must check it. It would be pretty nice to be able to prolong these two seconds of that, but not sure. But this one, I'm sure we can do it. So, we we attack Vila, 
use our our cuirass and try to get this bonus but we don't have the ingredients and the money for now so we could get this one maybe that's right also it's a good idea after a long battle like this one uh, maybe check your the status of your things still there still there but sometimes they can be dispelled or things like that anyway we have uh, this thing in theory uh, we should be able to prolong it if we attack Villa as usual uh, no fear she is able to healing very fast uh, when you are out of fight oh, indeed. And then we check if we have anything useful here At plates reach 20% less damage taken from melee attacks for about 1.8 seconds. Oh, we can get Ogre Blood if we hire Rust to kill Spindle Man. Uh, but I have already killed uh, the Spindle Man. Probably that's where I got the Ogre Blood so soon but i need two of them to be able to update this enchantment so probably i will find it somewhere else but for now we try this uh, this one uh so where is my nice armor here oh <laughs> I click wrong thing Ninety-nine seconds. Oh, let me check. Are we good? Try this. Sometimes, if you put away some helmet things, the swapping is a little faster. Changing weapon. Uh, no, it's always low. Probably that's because this cell is full of things. So 
everything is low. Anyway, let's see how much. Oh, well, not bad. We could maybe move a little. So basically, I'm not sure it's worth trying this battle uh, soon, so soon, because you don't have to come back here, but it takes a lot of time. Also, I did not use the best strategy, probably I could have used uh, Fireboys or Monastic, because with Monastic, once you have uh, the grab, dominated you can do probably better damage uh, sooner so not a good tactic also I could have removed the uh, the fatigue all in all took a lot of time that I could have used better that's this build honestly is just to show that it is possible to kill these things with with this kind of build just with the summons with cipher spells uh, it is not impossible And if I recall correctly, there are no enemies this side. As you like. Silence surrounds me. Stealth. That will do nicely. I shall make it so. Sharp eyes and keen ears. Okay, and this is another place uh, we will need stuff, but first we go and find some pretty nice things. Now here's something, as you like. someone very important who is definitely coming back any day now and you won't want to be here when she does and every time i see this soul i i like to pause it to morrowind because i love uh the voice of this thing i think this actress really uh is giving her some personality uh I you know the idea is always the same, this talking soul like in Baldur's Gate, but she's really nice. No, that I'm waiting for my owner. It's really a wonder you've managed to survive to the ripe old age of... But my owner, she... Actually, even though you're clearly little more than a ham-handed half-wit, maybe you can do something for me. I'll let you handle me, but only under one condition. You have to help me find my owner. 
okay? But only until you find my owner, you got that? And we found make it so. the sob. <laughs> To whispers and shadows. Check stealth. Very good. By Praga. Bonus still there for a lot of seconds. Let's give it some refresh. Let's see if uh, things are a little faster here. Yeah, a little bit. I think it depends on how many uh, enemies are around. More or less like Morrowind, the more people, more NPCs, and the slower the game. Obviously, with the real ultimate, you cannot really swap things so fast because you have to count how many times you do it uh, using a, a mouse macro like this. Not something probably is accepted uh, in a real ultimate run. Could be considered an external software, so better not to risk that. But oh, very nice. If you don't want to destroy your own mouse, better to <laughs> in a practice run, maybe better to do like this. And not sure about this this one. Yeah. So essentially here you have to sneak, pay attention to not go where the uh poisonous gas is as you go out of stealth and you go in a good position like this prepare uh, maybe we could make it with uh, such big stuff without using a spark cracker but honestly uh, they are cheap better not to risk um, do the safe way so essentially we need to move this right here which is the dangerous one uh, that can detect us easily so we try the spark crackers and we take a look at the distance of the radius more or less like this we we'll prepare and then we try to get the enemies mm -hmm. Going there, and we reach a safe place. So, doing this uh, in this sense is much easier than doing the same thing uh, coming from here. That's the reason why I prefer to go first to the right and then uh, come back from here. But I've seen a lot of people doing the ultimate and just directly uh, taking this route, so probably people uh, with more confidence in sneaking and so on. And in theory, we could kill everything, but not worth a uh, lot of time, no really a challenge, just something that Got something for me? you can avoid. Okay. 
Okay. Good work. Meantime, Dar I know you're Daria's. Uh, I think we can use directly this. Uh, but let's see. Have enough athletics? Sharp eyes and keen as you like. Uh. In theory, they are not aggressive, but I think if you sneak out and you have seen by the first, uh, uh, the first uh, pirate here, uh, even if you are already done with them, done all the quests, uh, you will be uh, moved to the to the captain. So better not to. At least I think it happened to me once. Uh, I was sure I have talked with everybody, done all the quests, they already know me, but no, <laughs> that one pirate sent me immediately to uh, talking with the captain. I shall make it so. And let me check here. Uh, not sure it is what. We don't have enough money to buy now uh, the helmet. You need a blade or an old money. Yeah. Six thousand better spent for the bot. Now we can click a couple times here. Uh, I think the battle time to do this in reality is uh, on the map screenshot because you're sure that time you stop there. That will do nicely. So you must. Be outside on your boat, probably. Uh, Berios, hideout. Ooh, it's late. I must stop here in a short time. So I will go to Dirio and get a nice weapon and then probably stop here because it's been a very long stream. I uh, used a lot of time to be able Kill that thing. Probably what do too you much. Require? Uh so I bought the car. A most ways, agreeable topic. Gilade. Given I how Kaiser was once, it Gilade. is little more than legend now. But some in the now that especially So we get Never a super weapon that Dario. Now a lot what money? do you require? And a storm a life in the dead fire is unpredictable. Why must we swan? But as are many of these new blood, but we need them. The new bloods are princip a moment. I, I almost also. forgot. Per complanca. The principi colors. And it is not as great. And hmm. not sure I can actually. Probably with some spark cracker. I will never tried this, but I don't like to steal from Daryl. Has been very gentle. So, hmm. okay, let's try it. But out Silence of curiosity. surrounds me. Oh, I could 
point to get hmm it's not easy maybe this one but I think uh, you had to use spark crackers yeah maybe this one we can manage without spark crackers but any of them Oh, they are. They are here. You cannot do it. As you like. Oh, we can. Good. Ooh. Not bad. Uh, this one's let's see mm, no. I can get it to spit it's done uh spark crackers maybe but not sure he's able to actually walk away because he's on a sort of mm -hmm. I shall. big chair and okay let's try i never tried this thing let's see what happens uh they go but not enough maybe from here Okay, let's try again. Ah, uh, you must pay a lot of attention to not hit them. No, they are they don't go uh, away yes, enough, so certainly. Maybe there's a way but not a way that I can imagine at present. Uh, so Maros, Gallet, Davos, Ro. We go back to the Gallet. And we can finish another couple of quests. Uh, we can go fast uh, uh, at Petley's Sanctuary to give her the potion to cure the Wana, the Roparu Wana. Why shot from kitchen stove? Uh, no, I never sh uh, tried this because I love the, the other enchantment uh, so much. But out of curiosity, I, I think I will try. Need something. But uh, so far, you anything that is not marked paint. as uh, fight only and has a duration in seconds, it seems it can be. Right out of it care. can be prolonged. That's Obviously, stuff, things right. that have a couple if of seconds me, I better start treating of duration are much harder to prolong, but you can do it uh, with a little patience. And we got uh, a nice ring, uh, especially for priests. But this ring is not bad, even for different classes, because there are moments where you want all the barn armor you can you can have uh, with certain enemies. So if you are not uh, unkillable, obviously, but it helps. Hmm. 
Ok. So you, I, I don't need to en enchant anything. Something that I will try for sure if it doesn't need to uh, uh, avoid getting Thunder Report because Thunder Report is my preferred uh, weapon thing regardless of the class. It's too nice. Uh, we need to go... Oh, here. Yeah. Then we talk with In Inoi. And I, I have read on the forum that they just discovered... My, yeah, I think you discovered uh, the that thing with uh, prolonging... Uh, not prolonging, but uh, stealing the, grim, uh, the spell from grimoires of enemies <laughs> and getting a permanent list of spells from other classes that that thing seems to be something really that could open other possibilities for builds i have no choice but to hope this bench never can i thank should you need refuge within nekadaka know that the reparu uh, we already have the sword we already found the sword but it's nice quiet. to know so we get some did. precious experience here. Several miles at last, may a mere. Okay, so hmm, let's try this thing. I'm curious. <laughs> Mopit is terrified by the fact that we shoot Villa. <laughs> Mopit never played with Vila, I'm sure, because she's really a problem, a big problem. I don't want uh, a daughter like Vila, <laughs> honestly. Uh, okay, let's try. We should be able to do it. So, uh, I, I will try it here, I think. White shot. Ooh, 15% reload time. Range attacks. Bounce one time. So, is this working also with spells? The uh, range attacks. Bouncing. Uh, the lead discovered the, the story with the with the grimoires. Oh, I I always see I seen it only recently. Maybe it was a no things, but nobody thought about choosing them uh, systematically. Anyway, let's try this one. Uh, this thing, I would be very interested if this works with uh, uh, the, the blade spell. Let's try it. Uh, what I need? Oh, just just to use once. Okay, let's try it. So I don't need. This, oh, uh, I will keep it anyway. So, I hope just to not kill Villa instantly <laughs> with the speed. Very well, okay, let's see. Kitchen star, wild shot. Did I use it? Maybe 
enough. Damage. Okay, let's try prolonging it. Uh, not sure it, it is working, but first prolong, then ask. I I am prolonging nothing else <laughs> new, but. Let's see. Okay, so oh, very nice. Let's see from the. Oh no no no! Stop. Indeed. Oh, but I did not use it. I'm I'm sorry. I did not think about what I was doing. I need to click here, not here. <laughs> uh, okay. Now I understand. It's. Not related to it in Vela. It is just a power. Okay, I never used it because I uh, never thought about it as something that you can prolong. But if it works... And this is what I love of this game and of the ultimate cheese. Is that you never stop discovering new things. People tell you, hey, it does also this thing. And that is the, the nice thing about this challenge. A lot of people have discovered a lot of different things and everybody sharing. That's great. Uh, okay, so... Ooh, here it is. Great. 23, not bad. It's also easy to prolong, probably. Okay, let's see. That will do nicely. Yeah, it works. Prolonging works uh, in theory. Uh, range attacks. Hmm. I need another fight to, to check this. Uh, usually no. But uh, maybe it. Uh, I think Raven uh, is sure that uh, it stays. If you s uh, save and then reload, in my experience, this is uh, this is very true because also other abilities like uh, Oscodios uh, Oscodios Edge, wh when you save, they are uh, also sort of duplicated if you reapply them. So there is one coming from the save and one coming from the next time you try to prolong. So, uh, when you save, it sort of uh, is separated uh, from, from the original, like with the uh, other things, like the other portion and so on. So maybe it, it does the same thing. But, let's try. Easy. We remove this. And see. But at least with this works, so it should. Oh, no. Hmm. No, I, I cannot see it. Maybe you need to save. Again, uh, 
No. Uh, it seems it doesn't last if you remove the weapon. So, if it doesn't work while uh, uh, I hope to have a save. Yolet. Uh, if it doesn't work, uh, saving and reloading probably, uh, it, it doesn't work in any case. I pity because it was very powerful for a simple, uh, the, the soul blades or mental blades, how they are called. Ah, I, I will try saving now and see if there's some kind of difference. So, we have this. We save. Oh, first I prolong to be sure that uh, we have something with a de decent duration. Okay, should be enough. Wild shot, uh, 1000 seconds and, and more, so we save. And we can remove this and reload. Uh, I don't think it changes if we go completely out of the game. It's still there, but, but, there's a big but, I think, if we remove it now, it the go as way. So, no, this is not the right way. Probably you need to remove... But when you remove before saving, no, I don't think it, it can work because if I don't remove uh, and reload, it's still there. But when I remove, it is removed. If I remove the weapon before saving, <laughs> uh, it's already gone. So it doesn't work. Also, I, I'm sure that it would have been already used. Uh, let's try again. So long. Do nicely. Here it is. So if I remove it now, it is gone. I must say, I uh, cannot do anything else. Now I remove. And then reload. But it doesn't change, uh, not working in my... Uh, I will go out just to be sure, but... Or we can try removing and reloading. 
I think uh, it's been written somewhere uh, the exact exact way in the forum. I read it somewhere. Uh, where it is. I hate when Windows is moving my icons. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, here it is. Okay, last try. I will remove it, save, and see what happens on the road. So this is the one with the weapon and still there. Now we remove it. Well, first I will just change weapon. Oh, uh, just changing weapon, it is going away. And if you go back, steal the way. So, hmm. I don't think it can work, but let's try. Save without the weapon. Uh, no, say with the weapon, but not uh, enabled. It is not there anymore. We reload. Ah, not sure I can walk. Usually, it's not so complicated. Is something is is going to rest uh will be still there but now i try Let's see no uh i don't think it can work but never say never maybe i, I will ask on the forum if someone has uh, managed to, to do that because it will be nice but for now i think i will stop here uh, we got a couple of Nice effects running. The last one is from Y, y High Paraga. And that was another one. No, oh, this one. Okay. So, thanks for watching this long stream, and hopefully, it's been something good to see. Bye-bye.